Alright, it's finally time for me to get back to red battleizers. The first video I made where I gave 3 red rangers some original battleizers really took off, and it definitely left a lot of you wanting to see the same treatment for some other red rangers as well. I noticed that there were specifically some calls for some of the early ranger teams, and while I did want to tackle this, I thought it may be more fun to do so in a bit of a different way. Like I mentioned in that video, the design philosophy of Power Rangers battleizers doesn't always align exactly with the stylings of the season. The priority is really for it to be a big and bold representation of power in any scenario or situation. The later seasons of Power Rangers would see the Battleizers stick more closely to the season's themings, but if we're talking about early early, I think it would be way less likely. So to avoid making power-ups that are a bit too generic, I thought it would be an interesting challenge to flip things over and make some power-ups for some Red Rangers through the specific lens of the 10 to 20 years after Sentai style. Now I'm sure you may be wondering, what on earth do I mean by this? It's been somewhat of a tradition where many years later, a Sentai will get revisited for a special movie, typically 10 or 20 years later depending on the season. While the main goal is to bring back some fan favorite rangers and place them in new and exciting adventures, some of these specials will include a new form or power up. These power ups do come in different shapes and sizes. For Abba Ranger, Abba Red gained a form which amped up the styling of his own suit while adding in flourishes that incorporated the rest of the team's colors. In a not as subtle way, Gokaiger would see each ranger receiving a mecha like power up, which which would eventually all go to Marvelous in a big and bombastic showcase of pirate teamwork. And for something like Hurricaneger, the new red form wouldn't be a power up per se, but a red from another era whose design leads way more into the season's concept and theme. While the styling varies from embracing the solo red power to the collective team's power, I think it's important for these new forms to have a wow factor that resonates closely with the theme. Especially with these years after specials, fans would be excited to see their faves back on screen, and whatever new forms introduced need to honor and respect the legacy of the season that has led up to their glorious return. There are quite a few ways to handle the years after style, and for these three rangers specifically, I thought it would be the best way to take a look at some potential power-ups and battleizer-like forms. So let's go ahead and dive into into our first Sentai Red. We'll go ahead and start from the top and go backwards in time and start with Gosei Red. Yes, I know I mentioned I'd be doing the early Power Ranger seasons whose battleizers may be a bit generic, but honestly, considering how Megaforce was intended as Power Ranger's new base launching pad, I would have assumed that any battleizer received in this season would be treated very similarly as the season overall, generally generic with not much emphasis on the angel theming. So let's get to work on making an awesome upgrade for Gosei Red. Leaning into the angel theming is already a given, so I decided to use Magna Anjuman or Holy Anjuman as a reference to grace Gosei Red with some magnificent and heavenly armor. Perhaps after saving the world and becoming full-fledged angels, Arata was able to ascend the angel ranks through more heroic deeds over time. I think that type of background will work well, especially for the type of stylistic upgrade I wanted to give him. I don't really have that much more to say about this one, so let's go ahead and open up the Heavenly Gates for... Grand Gosei Red after the events of Ghostager, while the team would roam the earth and take in more of what it had to offer, they would continue to face challenges and rely on their angelic abilities to protect humanity. In recognition of his exceptional skills and leadership, Arasa would be promoted to Archangel, granting him a new and gleaming form with which to grace the skies. Next up we have the Starboy himself, O-Red. This one was the one that I actually did first, but I had several ideas for. At the end of the day, I knew that I wanted the star shape to be a crucial part of this form's imagery. And not like, have this form be adorned with stars, I wanted him to look like a star by the end of this. So I immediately went to his old blocker mecha that he has, since each of the old blockers was designed around each ranger's specific shape. But then I didn't really want to take O-Red and just put him in the old blocker suit. I felt like integrating the robo armor into the ranger form was a bit of an easy way out, and I wanted to try and be a bit smarter with it. I was pretty cautious about leaning on Tukaiser's design, but I think it ultimately gave me a good piece of inspiration. I didn't want to rely on it too much because it in itself is a modern take on the O-Ranger style, which is what I was trying to make on my own. Especially looking at the Crocodile, I decided that I would take more after the Pharaoh-like imagery, but with a twist. I adorned O-Red with some pharaohic funkiness and also gave him a new type of helmet, and I was a really big fan of the idea of each segment of the star representing each ranger color, so this would be a teamwork take on the power-up style. The end result is kinda wacky, but I think it's fun. Make way for... Ancient O-Red. When the Machine Empire resurfaces and threatens to destroy the world, the O-Rangers are forced to come back together and bring them down once more. With their powers being increased after all this time, the O-Rangers have no choice but to combine their powers into one, granting Goro this new form that utilizes each of the Rangers' strengths and true Choriki power. Last but not least is one of the most popular Ranger designs out there, Tyranno Ranger. Now this one, this one. 
I had to think about it a lot, more than I thought I'd have to actually. See, this ranger design is probably one of the most remixed designs in Power Rangers history. There are tons of fan designs that give Jason the dragon treatment, combining his red and gold ranger powers into one. There's also the form of Jason wearing Tommy's armor, which is sort of everyone's default when thinking of an MMPR type power-up. We also have the Red Sentry from the comics, and I'm pretty sure the comics have a lot more MMPR design remixes in its entirety. So that tasks me with coming up with a Tyranno Ranger power-up that doesn't look like everyone else's Red Ranger OC or any existing power-up so far. One thing I really wanted to stray from was leaning into making him look too similar to Dragon Ranger, so I had to think about what aspect I could really emphasize to make this look epic. I had this initial design that saw a huge upgrade to his helmet, as well as a Tyranno version of the Dragon Shield that I almost moved forward with, but I felt like it looked too OC and not really in line with what we might see in a special movie. My working name for that form was Tyranno Ranger Rex, and then it came to me. Why don't I emphasize the Rex or King part? Of course being very different from Kyoru Red, I sought to make Tyranno Ranger look regal and royal. I ended up taking huge inspiration from Geki's casual outfit in order to give the Tyranno Ranger suit some flashy and flowy flair. I also put an image of the Tyranno coin in the center, sort of as an homage to when they did this in MMPR. I wanted to also enhance the details of his suit by adding gold lining around the diamonds, making it feel more premium. Ultimately, I really like what we landed on. All rise for... Tyranno Ranger Rex. No stranger to saving the world before, Geki promptly descends when mightier threats beckon his return. This time, he brings about the true might of the King of the Dinosaurs in his new and improved form, delivering prehistoric power in majestic proportions. And here are our years after power-ups, or I guess you could call them Sentai exclusive battleizers. Which one do you like the best? And could you see any of them being used in a future special for the series? And that's all I have for you today. I'll be back next time with more Toku art and more fun Toku topics to Toku talk about. See you all next time.